I know people are used to predictive text. Funnily enough, children don't tend to use it. That's okay, just send just just send it in anyway. It's more just so we have some things on the board. Yeah. So it's not a problem. Once you've texted it in, you need to make sure that you press that button to send the information to the board. And again, I can see when it, when my class has sent an answer because their name turns yellow. So we'll stop that and stop, stop the vote. And we can see we've come up with a couple words there. Some interesting ones. I think it's, I stopped it before you got yours in. I'm sorry. Yeah. And then I'm going to come back to my page for a minute. So I want to use those words. Imagine that we had 30 words there from our whole class, everybody texting in their own words. I'm just going to clear this page because I want a blank page to use with those ideas. And then I can call my voting results back up. And this allows me to see them to the page. So as I said, if I had 30 ideas, one from each child in my class, that would give me a lot of words on the page. We can start to group them and move them into categories and things that we're going to talk about and how does that fit in. And it's all the discussion around that is getting us set up for learning this topic. Text works brilliantly on the board as well. What I've done here is we've got, instead of having a white page, we're looking at evacuees. So I've got a photograph from the resource library and changed the transparency slightly so it sits slightly behind. It draws your eyes there, doesn't it? But it doesn't detract from the information that's happening on the page. I've got quite a lot of text that I want to get through with my class, but I don't want to overwhelm them by having the whole entire board just with a big block of text on it. So what I've done is set this to um, restrict the movement to only move vertically. So I can pull that up and reveal some more of the text. So we can work through the text slowly and we'll discuss it as we go. So we have this little scroll effect here. We can also interact with the text. So there's lots of fantastic things that you can do with interacting with the text in Inspire. I can use my fill tool and we can highlight words. So I can pick out key words or key phrases within that or words that they're not sure of, words that maybe we need to go back and look up in the dictionary. Using that same idea with the fill tool, but this time using the same color as the background, I can take words away. So make a close procedure really quickly. Can they identify the word that's missing from that paragraph and add it in? Or fill in the blanks. So really powerful. Those words are still there. All I've done is color them the same color as the background. So if I click where they were, where I take them away from, you can see the words are still there and they become highlighted again. I can also right click on a word and extract it. So what this does is make a copy that I can then pull out. So again, taking out key pieces of information or key terms and things like that and isolating them to talk about further. Maybe we're going to start generating these and then get them to do a piece of writing based on the key vocabulary we're giving them. To take that even further, if I double click on the page to go into a text box, I can highlight a whole phrase and I can pull a phrase out of there as well.